No doubt some of you have already watched my video about why I'm not the biggest fan of Bank of America's credit cards, and that sentiment still holds true today. However, despite that, I'm going to apply for one of their cards. I'll be going after the Bank of America Premium Rewards credit card, and I'll reveal my reasons for that toward the end of the video, but in the meantime, I'm sure you all have to watch me go through the application and see what that result is. So let's hop over to the computer and start the process. And off to the application we go. So let's go to the Credit Cards tab down to travel and airlines rewards cards because the premium rewards card is classified as a travel card. And there we go right there. Bank of America premium rewards, 50,000 point online bonus points offer, a $500 value, $95 annual fee. All of that checks out to me. So let's go ahead and click on, I believe it's not that apply now button. Yep, rather than this one down here. So let's do apply now. And like a lot of other banks offer, they do provide the opportunity to log in and save time. That way you can fill out things like your name, your address, whatever they already have on file about your personal information. Uh, that will save you some uh, form field filling out. So I'll go ahead and log in and do that. User ID and password, I'll fill those out in just a moment. Okay, so on this page here, they have already pre-populated some of those form fields. So down here, it's uh, all under what we have. They've got my name, my address, my date of birth, and they do give you, uh, give you the opportunity to click on edit if you wanna make any changes to that stuff. So let me scroll down further. There was also a little link that said see more, and it showed me more of what they were able to uh, fill out for me. That was also my social security number, um, my email address, and my citizenship. So those fields were also taken care of for me. Now, before we go on further, I want to mention this section right up here. How we verify your information. And for at least a Bank of America personal credit cards, it does say that if you currently have a freeze on your credit, you must remove that notice or that freeze before submitting your application to allow Bank of America to verify your information. For that reason, I'm not going to freeze any of my reports. My guess is they'll probably pull Experian in my area. I'm not really sure. Uh, so we'll find out, of course, once the application goes through. Um, so let me scroll down further. And now they have sections for what we still need. And that will be primary phone number, mobile or home, employment status, the options are employed, homemaker, retired, self, uh, student, or unemployed. Then we have total annual income, the source of that income. Uh, so you can select which one is relevant to your situation right there. Uh, also your monthly housing payment, whether that's a mortgage or your rent payment each month. And then they'll ask what type of card options you may want to select. For example, transferring a balance to your new card. For, uh, for instance, if this had a 0% promotional APR and I was carrying debt on other cards, I can move it over to this new card at 0% and help me pay it down faster. This card, uh, at least right now, does not have a 0% promo offer and I also don't carry balances. So um, that will be unselected for me. I'm also not going to add a card holder. That's the same as an authorized user. Then we've got paperless to receive your statement every month via email slash your online account. Then all the terms and conditions. Obviously the APRs are very high right now. 19.7% uh, 0.74% is the minimum I could qualify for, as high as almost 27%. Then there are also different APRs for balance transfers, cash advances, all those types of things. Uh, the penalty rates, annual fees, all that. Do look these over whenever you're applying for a new card. That way you understand the circumstances that are surrounding your application. So if you get approved, uh, you should not have any surprises about if you get hit with fees and you should know why. So I'm going to go fill out these remaining sections right here about what they still need and I shall return after that. All right, I have filled out the application and now I'm going to the bottom here. Uh, which says by submitting this application that I acknowledge I've reviewed and agreed to the terms and conditions above and elect to receive paperless statements and documents from my account. That is a yes for that. So let's save and continue. Okay, what's happening here? Review your information. One last thing. Oh, so this is to uh, go over all the stuff that I've entered on the previous parts of the application. Let me go through all these uh, line by line and make sure that there are zero errors, even for the stuff that was pre-populated. For example, if you moved for example, and you forgot to update your new address on your account, they might still have your old stuff. So always review everything, even if they do some of the work for you. I'll be right back. It all checked out. Now let's officially click on submit my application on a count of three, two, one, and kaboom. It's thinking really hard. Let me zoom out a bit too, to uh, see the result come in if I can. There we go. 
Oh yes, got approved for the card. Congratulations, Jeffrey, your credit card is approved. Application status, approved. Credit limit, $24,000. I like the sign of that right there. And usually B of A might do a reference number. Let me scroll past that. It's a little bit sensitive, of course. And then I'll see what I can show versus what I can't. Yeah, so the reference number is right there. So I've got to kind of hover myself over the screen to hide that up. Uh, but yeah, there's the $24,000 limit. Really, really cool, uh, especially as my first ever uh, personal credit card with Bank of America. So let's see what's next. Check your mailbox. I love easy instructions. Your Bank of America premium rewards credit card and additional account info will arrive within the next two weeks. Already enrolled in online banking? Yes, I am. Uh, and they'll automatically add my new credit card to my online account uh, within the next business day or so. I'm a plan on a Friday, so maybe by next Monday or something like that, I should be able to see it live in my account. That feeling of submitting an application and getting that approval in the end never gets old. Now let's go over some of the broader context of my overall credit situation to provide you with some data points of what was going on in my world, and maybe it will help you all as well if you decide to go for this card or any of the other Bank of America card products. Before hitting that submit button, my scores were as follows. Experian at 771, TransUnion at 804, and Equifax at 820. For my inquiries, I had 10 on Experian, 6 on TransUnion, and 2 on Equifax. For new accounts that appeared on my credit report, I had 4 that were opened in the last 6 months, 6 in the past 12 months, and 7 in the past 24. As for my average age of accounts or average length of credit history, I was at 4 years, 5 months. And for my relationship with Bank of America, I had both a checking and savings account on the personal side already open, somewhere probably close to 2 years now. And for the business credit cards, I had one of those open. Then after I submitted my application, I saw that Bank of America pulled my Experian credit report and none of the others. Therefore, my Experian uh, credit score dropped from 771 down to 766, so a loss of five points. And that was due to the inquiry being added. So I went from 10 up to 11 inquiries. Um, then for my new accounts, there was no change there. Same with average age of accounts because this card will probably take a few weeks to even show up on, on my report anyway. Therefore, at this time, there aren't any changes to those sections of my report. That said, I've had the hardest time in the world getting approved for Bank of America back a couple of years ago. I was denied for this card and another one of those cards, um, or it might have been the same premium uh, rewards card twice, could not get in, but ever since I opened my banking side relationship with that checking, with that savings, uh, that helped me get approved for my first business card. And now for the first time ever, my first ever personal Bank of America card. So I won't say it's an objective hard truth because people have gotten approved for Bank of America cards without a banking relationship, but it seems anecdotally at least that having the banking relationship in place may likely uh, increase your odds of getting approved with Bank of America. And to wrap up this video, the main reasons why I decided to apply for this card, the first one was the 50,000 point welcome offer after spending 3K in the first 90 days. That's worth 500 bucks, whether it's cash back or towards travel. And of course, the $95 fee, I believe that's due up front in your first billing cycle or statement. So 500 minus 95, 405 profit, pretty nice. I'm doing some holiday shopping here toward the end of the year, and I want to use that roughly $400 of profit to cover at least uh, a good part of all that gift buying. Always nice to have some extra cash you can spend without having to use any of your earned income. And reason number two for getting this card was for the personal hands-on experience with the card product. People ask me all the time questions about Bank of America cards. For example, uh, if I were to redeem points for cash back, does it have to go into a Bank of America account? Can they send you a check in the mail? Can I uh, send my cash back to an external linked account like Citibank, for example? And unless you have a uh, real firsthand experience, it's really hard to answer those questions. Either I'd spend a bunch of time researching answers on Bank of America's site, other blogs, forums, etc. Sometimes I would find the answer from people who have the cards. Other times, certain, uh, certain questions I could not find an answer to. So to better help you all out and to also increase my understanding of other products from other issuers, it's great to be able to log into my account and try a feature, do a redemption, 
um, and worked with the card to have an objective answer that can uh, help people out with uh, for sure. And with all that said, if you enjoyed today's video and believe it could benefit other people, then please help me get it in front of them by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on those notifications. Also check out the links down below in the description area to earn some more cash back when you shop online through Rakuten. To get $25 when you open a new SoFi checking and savings account and deposit just $10 or more. And to view my site with some great credit card offers that I've organized into different categories to help you find the cards that you like best. I thank you all for watching today's video. I hope it brought you some great value. I look forward to seeing you in future videos and while you're waiting on my next upload, always remember that you are great.